With the new update from ChatGPT, people have been creating some amazing stuff online. I mean, look at me, enjoying my coffee in Japan. You've probably seen this all over your LinkedIn feed. Yes, it's been a lot lately. But when you think about it, when your inner child think about it, it's kind of magical. But what if we can use all those new powers to create something actually useful? Useful for sellers, useful for people who just want that extra cash. Smell money here. What if tomorrow you can do a product shot without a model? What if tomorrow you can have your studio without a camera? What if tomorrow you can launch a brand with just one idea and one click? Well, tomorrow is today. <laughs> I love that sentence. Tomorrow is today. I should write a book. Not to brag, but Photoroom is one of the first editors in the world to partner with OpenAI Image One. And together, we build three new tools that are changing the game for you. So in this video, I will show you how they came to life, what you can do with those tools, how to use them, and why it's only the very beginning. Grab your popcorn and welcome to Super Photoroom. Nah, I'm not sure about the name. Ultra Photoroom? Photoroom GPT? Photoroom Plus? Ultimate Photoroom? Let's stick to Photoroom. I've always wanted to be a nerd, you know? The type of guy who creates something from scratch, you know, MacGyver style. But unfortunately, I was more the, the popular guy. So I have no idea how those tools are made. So I asked Guillaume, the man behind those AI tools, how the hell he came up with those ideas. Please tell me what happened last week. Thanks for asking, and it was quite a crazy week. What happened is that uh, OpenAI released their new image generation capabilities a few weeks ago. Everybody went nuts about the capabilities that they created, that, that they unlocked. We got in touch with their teams asking if there was a way that we could use that in the API. And it turns out that they actually proposed us to join the alpha beta test of the API and the team went completely all hands on deck and decided that it was the way to go. The why is pretty simple. It's completely aligned with our mission. And our mission is to make the power of great visuals accessible to every entrepreneur. We saw that there was a huge potential coming from this new GPT Image One model that would actually allow our user to create visuals that they couldn't do before. Why did you focus on those three tools specifically? The process was pretty simple. We started by checked what was going on on Twitter and what people were exploring as trends for merchants and commerce based on ChatGPT. And based on our test and the appetite from the market and what we see as trends on the market, we decided to go with one, the virtual model thing, which is one that is addressing a need that is extremely important for all the people sitting close on photo room, which is a huge amount of our user at the moment. The second use case is product beautifier. It's all about taking a random shot, a regular shot that you can take with your phone and making it look very professional. And the third one, we decided to go with what we call product staging, which is all about taking your product and put it in context as it was used by someone. We thought it was the three cool use case that we could bring to our user very fast. Last week was like a roller coaster for you guys where there are moments where you say wow okay this is getting real so i was really impressed by seeing the team jumping in and starting thinking and brainstorming together designing working with backend working with frontend mobile to put all things together i haven't seen that before it only took probably 24 hours before we start having a prototype working on the web app which 24 hours 24 hour. It was, of course, an alpha, very early version. It's about doing small iterations that are far from perfect. So the objective for us was to get something in the end of the photo rumors, to start getting feedbacks and try to improve over time and getting ready as fast as we could. If I'm going to try the tool today, will I have already amazing results? So you're going to have amazing results. I can guarantee <laughs> that. Uh, I wouldn't even say it's a beta. Even the model from OpenAI is not the final version and it's constantly evolving. And we're actually working with their team to provide feedbacks to try to maximize the quality that we can get out of the model. But we thought that it was better to release something that our merchant e-commerce professional could leverage today rather than waiting to get everything. And you can expect uh, improvement to come. Cool. Thanks a lot, Guillaume. Thank you. Bye. The first one is Product Beautifier, instant glow up from mm to wow picture in one click. No retouching skills required. You go on the web app, you have 
all our amazing AI tool and you just click here, Product Beautifier. You have the possibility to change the size, square, portrait, landscape. You just need to click add your photo here and I will go for that mug. And that mug, it's a souvenir uh, of my days at Harvard. It's something that I've always said to people, make something people want. You have the little Y at the bottom, Y for Yann, my name. So it's a true story. So I will go for the mug and I will keep it in square and click on generate. And here, the cool thing is that you have two options, two versions basically of your product and the generation can take up to one minute. Give me also some time to, to, to reflect on my past, to think of, about my future. And okay, it's done. I love the result. It kept the text super consistent, same font, same size. What you can do when you have the final result is that you can also remove the background. And let's say that I want a, a different background. I just click on AI background and clean, sharp, crispy. And as my friend Mario uh, was always saying, here we go, it's magic. The second one is product staging. It generates high quality backgrounds tailored to your product. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. Same, you go on AI tool, product staging, the promise is create stunning lifestyle images that tell the story and show it in action. Same as the previous tool, you can change the size, the portrait, landscape. You just need to click and I will go for those sunglasses that I really loved. Let's try the landscape mode and generate. So yes, it takes a bit of time, but quality takes time. I need to tell you that story. I was one of the architects of the Eiffel Tower back in the days and it didn't took us a month to create the Eiffel Tower. We took years. But what is the result? The result is outstanding. This is what you get when you are patient. I really love the result because it keeps the style, the color. You have every clean details of your sunglasses. Imagine you have a brand. You just need to put your name here, ready to sell. And the last one is virtual model. I love this one. I really love this one. Click on it. You have here different model. What is cool, at least from my perspective, is that you have a bit of diversity. So I will go with my girl, Lina. You can change the size also. And let's put a nice t-shirt. I don't know if you know that little brand. Generate. This one virtual model is for people who don't have time, money to hire a professional model. But just for you guys to know, I'm also modeling on the side. So whatever you need to shoot, I'm here. You can call me anytime. I'm traveling also. I have low fees. It will be a pleasure uh, to collaborate uh, with you guys. Nice. Lena, let's go. This seems realistic. I'm going to use that image and say it's my latest creation, Lena X Yan Forever Love. It means no studio, no casting, no problems. No tienes que hacer nada. Just click. You know when you bake your first batch of baguettes or pain au chocolat or chocolatine for the true ones, they are not perfect, but they smell amazing. Well, this is our first batch. The tools work great already, but it's a beta version. And what's coming next? Even better. So I went to check with Elia, our Italian web engineer, to see what he's been cooking. <sighs> it's already smell. It's already smell amazing. So I'm here with the man behind those tools. Elia, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. What did you cook? For the user, this product should feel like a natural extension of the existing Photoroom tools. So it was a joint effort between engineering, design and product to kind of uh, come up with the first version in seven days. Yeah, I wouldn't say that it's the usual week from kind of idea to production. It actually was very challenging, but also very fun. And this would not not be possible to be shipped so fast, even just one year ago. There are kind of two ways of building a prototype. One is really going to the prototype mode. Uh, you don't care about how the app looks, you don't care about you know, the security, you don't care about the scale. 
has to be easy to use, has to work as user would expect Photoroom to work, and this was the most challenging part. What type of feedback you will be like super happy to have after the release of those tools? Any feedback about a kind of misalignment between the user expectation and what the tool generates, it's super valuable for us. We really look forward to hear from our users how they like the, the results of the tool and what they would have loved to be able to kind of input in the prompt that we don't allow at the moment. From your perspective, what an ideal V2 will look like? As a first step, we will for sure make these tools feel more similar to the existing tools, allowing also the user to kind of play around with more complex prompts. We are aware that this first version is still quite limited in terms of like flexibility. Next improvements will be all around a more advanced way for users to input image and settings in order to generate the perfect results. So now that we tease your appetite, you want to create some amazing assets. When the good news is that you can already start creating some amazing visuals on the web and on iOS and later coming on Android. Android. So these are pro features available during your free trial or with any pay plan. We build those tools with OpenAI to help creators to sell faster, better, stronger. Better, faster, stronger. So try it, give us some feedback and most of all, share with us what you create with Super Photo. I still don't love the name. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like it, share it, and show some love. My name is Yann, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.